Hey everyone! Thanks for tuning into my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to crochet the Flower Power tank top. We're going to make an adult size, medium or large, but there is instructions on how to do extra small through extra extra large on the written pattern available for sale on my website, so I'll leave a link in the description box for that. Otherwise you can just follow along and let's get started. You're going to need a four millimeter crochet hook in five different colors of a medium weight yarn. I'm using a cotton yarn, but acrylic is also fine. And you're going to want at least 250 grams or 450 yards of the main color that you want the tank top to be. And then less than 50 grams of the other four colors that will just be for the flower part. And a yarn needle will also be very helpful at the end when we have a bunch of ends to weave in. We're going to start by making what is called a willow square. We're going to need to make four of these and we're going to use the main color just as the outside rounds and then the four other colors as the inside rounds. So decide how you want to arrange your colors and I do two different versions. I just like switch the inside and the outside color so that I have a nice balance of all the other colors I chose. So I'll take you step by step through this part and we'll get started. All right, with color number one, make sure you leave a tail to weave in the end. Make a slip knot. Insert your hook. Tighten it up, but not too tight. And we're gonna chain four. One, two, three, four, and slip stitch into that first chain to make a loop. You could also use a magic circle here if you prefer. And now round one, we're gonna chain three. One, two, three. That's gonna count as our first double crochet stitch. And we want a total of 16. So we're gonna do 15 more right into the center right here. Don't go in here by accident. We wanna make sure we're going in the the center of all the stitches. So double crochet is a yarn over. We're doing US terms here. So insert through the center, pull the yarn through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. All right, and so just go and do the next 14 double crochet right into the center. And I'm also being mindful of my end and I'm just kind of weaving it, working around the end too, so that it's already partially woven in. See, I'm just working around it. Okay, with round two, second color, make another slip knot. And now you can insert into any stitch for this part. I kind of like to offset it a little bit just so my tails aren't like stacked up on top of each other. Um, it just kind of balances out where all the ends are in the end when you weave them in. But yeah, any stitch is fine. And we're gonna insert through the top of one of those double crochets. Pull the yarn through and just slip stitch to fasten on. Round two starts with a chain three. That again will count as our first double crochet stitch. Now chain one more. That'll be like a chain between double crochet stitches now. So do a double crochet into the next stitch and chain one. Double crochet into the next stitch. Chain one. So just repeat that all the way around. You should still have 16 double crochet stitches. Just this time there's a chain in between each of them.
All right, when you get back to where we started, count your stitches to make sure you have 16. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Oh yes, chain one here and then slip stitch. You want to slip stitch into the one, two, the third chain here to end the round. All right, so that's what round two looks like. And you can again cut your yarn, pull that tail through the last loop, and now we will do round three. So grab color number three. Make another slip knot. And again, you can insert into the top of any double crochet from the previous round. So insert. Do a slip stitch to fasten on, just like we did before. Chain three. That counts as our first double crochet. And now double crochet two into the space between stitches from the previous round. One, two. Now double crochet into the top of that double crochet. And then do two more between double crochets. Okay, so we're just doing one on, directly on top of our double crochet and then two in between. And repeat that all the way around. And to end round three, again, we're doing a slip stitch into the top of this chain three that we started with. And you can go ahead and cut your yarn. Pull that tail through, and now we will start round four. Color number four. Make another slip knot. We're going to fasten on right at the top of that chain where we did our slip stitch. Slip stitch to fasten on. And then chain one. And that chain one is going to count as our first single crochet. And now we're going to chain three. One, two, three. We're going to skip these first two stitches and then single crochet into the third stitch. All right, now chain four. One, two, three, four. Skip two stitches and single crochet into the third stitch. Okay, now we're gonna chain three again. Two, three. Single crochet into the third stitch. Okay, so we're always skipping two going into the third stitch. And okay, so we had a chain three, chain four, chain three, and now we're going to do chain five. One, two, three, four, five. Skip two and single crochet into that third stitch. Okay, so this chain five is going to be our corner space, and then this three, four, three is going to be the side. So you're going to want to repeat this all the way around, so that's a four section repeat. I'll do it with you one more time. Chain three, one, two, three, skip two, single crochet. Chain four, two, three, four, skip two, single crochet. 
back to three, skip two, single crochet, and then chain five. One, two, three, four, five, skip two, and single crochet. All right, so just repeat that all the way around. Again, the pattern is chain three, chain four, chain three, chain five. And you should have exactly four sets of those by the time you get to the other round. Alright, so at the end of round four, you should be ending with that chain five. There should be two more stitches left. And we're going to end the round with a slip stitch into that first chain. Remember, because it counts as a single crochet right here. So go into that first chain we did. And slip stitch to end the round. All right, that's what the end of round four looks like. And we're going to use the same color for round five. And we're just going to slip stitch into this this chain three space. And then chain one. Again, this will count as our first single crochet. And now we're going to move to this chain four space and do seven double crochets all into that chain four space. One, two, three, and seven. And now do a single crochet into the next chain space. And now into our chain five space is going to be our corner and we're going to do five double crochet, chain three, five double crochet. Start with one, two, three, four, five. And then chain three, one, two, three, and five more into the same space. Okay, now single crochet into the chain three space. And that is the repeat we're going to do all the way around. So it goes single crochet, seven double crochet, single crochet, and then the corner. Okay, so we're going to do seven more now, just like we did here. One, two, three. Five, six, seven. Single crochet into the chain three space and then do another corner of five double crochet, chain three, five double crochet. and single crochet into that chain three space. Okay, so every chain three space we did in the previous round is a single crochet. The chain five spaces are corners and those chain four spaces are the sides. 
So go ahead and repeat this all the way around. All right, so towards the end of round five, we should have four corners and four sides. And we will end the round with a slip stitch into that chain one that I said counts as a single crochet. Slip stitch to end the round. And you can go ahead and cut your yarn. Pull that tail through that last loop. And now moving on to round six using our main color. Make a slip knot. And we're going to fasten on right where we left off into this chain ones or single crochet, right where we did our slip stitch. So do another slip stitch to fasten on and chain three, two, three. This will count as a double crochet. And now chain another three and single crochet into the fourth stitch of the set of seven. So it should be right the one on top, the center one. But you can always count one, two, three, four, and then do a single crochet. And then chain three. Now do a double crochet into the top of this single crochet from the previous round. Now chain four. And into the corner space, we're going to do a single crochet, chain three, and another single crochet. And now we will chain four, two, three, four, double crochet into the, the top of the single crochet, chain three. Single crochet into that fourth, double crochet, chain three again, double crochet into this single crochet, chain four, two, three, four, and again into the corner we will do a single crochet, a chain three, and another single crochet. Okay, so do that all the way around. Again, we have chain threes on either side here, and then chain fours um, adjacent to the corner space here. So do that all the way around. I'll do one more with you. Chain four, two, three, four, double crochet. chain three, single crochet, chain three, double crochet, chain four, and the corner. Okay, one more repeat of that. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, and we're going to, it might like feel, look like it's buckling a little bit, but it's fine. And end this round with a slip stitch into the third chain, right? Because those first three count as a double crochet. So count up one, two, three, slip stitch, oops slip stitch to end the round. Okay, round seven. 
do a slip stitch into this chain space. Chain three counts as our first double crochet and we're gonna do three in total. So do two more. Okay, one, two, three. We're gonna do three double crochet into the next chain three space. One, two, three. And now into this chain four space, we're gonna do five double crochet. One, two, and five. Okay, now into this little corner space here, we're gonna do three double crochet, chain three, followed by three more double crochet. So, two, three, chain three, and we're gonna squeeze in three more into that same corner space. All right, moving on, chain four space gets five double crochet, just like we did here. Two, three, four, five. Okay, and then we're gonna do three in each of these chain three spaces. We're gonna repeat this all the way around. Three. Three more into the next one. And then five into the chain four space. And then we'll do the corner. Again, it's three double crochet, chain three, three double crochet. Okay, so just repeat that all the way around. So each side should have five stitches in the chain four spaces and then three, 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 and three. This is what we have at the end of round six. You can end the round with a slip stitch into the top of that chain three. Now, if you're doing a small or extra small, you would stop here, but for all other sizes, medium through extra, extra large, we will do one more round. And you can chain three. That will count as our first double crochet stitch. And we're just gonna go around the square doing one double crochet in each stitch. When you get to the corner space, you're gonna do two double crochet, chain three, two double crochet. One, two, chain three, and two more. 
and just keep going doing one in each stitch all the way around and doing the corners the same way with two chain three and two double crochet okay so once you have four squares we're gonna have two for the front two for the back and we're gonna sew these two together right along one edge here and it's best to orient them the squares so that the tail ends are kind of on the the long ends because these are going to be inside we're going to crochet over this later and this is either going to be top or bottom top or bottom and it just looks cleaner to not have one of your tail ends sticking out on those sides so flip your work to the back side and with a new piece of yarn I will show you how to stitch up this one edge Okay, so line up your edges with new yarn, make another slip knot. And we're going to start in the corners of one side, and then we're going to start in that middle chain. So there were three chain here on each corner. Pick up that outer loop, the middle chain on both sides. And then slip stitch to join. Okay, now pick up that outer loop again from the next chain and slip stitch. Now going along these stitches, we're going to pick up the front loop from this side and the back loop of this side. It's going to leave a nice seam if we do it like that. Just work your way across the edge Our front loop on this side back loop on this side Once you've gone across one edge, ending in that middle chain on both sides, just like where we started, you can go ahead and cut the yarn again. Pull that tail through the last loop. And this is the seam on the back side, on the front side. It's that nice, clean line. Once you've sewn the front two squares together and the back two squares together, you can decide if you want the same color on top of both sides or personally I like to reverse the back side so that it's opposite the front. And then what we're going to do is we're actually going to rotate these now so that the, the top front and the top back are facing like that. And we're going to go in rows now, starting from our far corner, working up one edge, chaining in the middle, and then working down the other edge. We're going to do that on both sides. So I'm going to zoom in now, because we're going to start in this corner here. Okay, we're going to call this row one, all sizes. This is going to be row one. Starting in this corner, make another slip knot. And we're going to do a single crochet fasten on to start. And all that is, is insert through the corner space, pull the yarn through, yarn over, pull through two loops. That's going to count as our first stitch. And we're going to continue with half double crochet stitch, one in each. So half double crochet is a yarn over. Insert through the first stitch, pull the yarn through, yarn over, pull through all three loops, and continue down the row doing one in each. When you get to this part here, you're just going to do one half double crochet in each corner space and then keep going 
till the end of this. Do one half double crochet in this corner space. We're going to chain 24 and then repeat on the other side. Okay, so here's row one, all the way down the side, chain 24, connected it to this side, same thing, all the way down, all the way, until you do one stitch in that last corner space, chain one, turn work, Now go back in the other direction, doing one half double crochet in each stitch, including one in each chain, and back down the other side, back to where we started row one. At the end of row two, we will now chain four. One, two, three, four, turn the work, our chain four counts as a treble crochet and we will continue with row three doing all treble crochets one in each stitch so that's a double yarn over insert now through the second stitch pull the yarn through yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two I'll show you one more time that's a double yarn over insert through the next stitch Pull the yarn through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through the last two. And continue with this stitch to the other side all the way to the end of the row. At the end of row three, chain one, turn the work. We're gonna go back in the other direction doing one half double crochet in each, just like we did in row two. And chain one does not count as a half double crochet stitch. So that's the only time in this pattern where your chain is not counting as a stitch. So do one half double crochet in that very first stitch and continue to the end of the row, just doing one in each. So this is row four. Row five will be coming back down in treble crochet and then row six will be another row of half double crochet. So go ahead and go through round six, going half double crochet in one direction and treble crochet in the other direction. This is what the top looks like after six rows on the side here. It should be the same on the front and back side. And we're gonna continue with this one row of treble crochet, one row of half double crochet, back and forth, but we're only gonna go up 40 stitches, and then we're gonna turn around and come back, and just work those 40 stitches back and forth for another seven rows for the medium size, or another nine rows for the large size. So I'll show you what that looks like. This is what rows seven through 13 look like. This is the medium size. If you're doing the large size, you would just go up to row 15, just doing the same thing, so just down and back one more time. And then the next step is to sew a seam to the other side. So actually, we're gonna chain one and turn our work here. Now the easiest way to do this is to count up 40 stitches. Mark that stitch and then do the same slip stitch method we did before here and do it all the way back down this seam. So you're gonna grab the front loop of this side and the back loop of this side and go all the way down and make sure you're on the inside of your, your work too, on the wrong side. So it's on the inside of your top and it will look better from the outside. 
And then you're going to go ahead and repeat this whole section of rows on the other side and then weave in all your ends and you'll be done. And I know I made that sound super easy because it's actually <laughs> quite a bit of work to get the rest done, but hopefully you're feeling confident after doing this side to do the same thing on the other. Let me know if you have any questions and don't forget the written pattern is available in six different sizes, extra small to extra, extra large. And like any crochet, you know, there's always some stretch and you can always add more rows to make bigger sizes. So it's pretty easy to keep sizing up if you need to do that. And I'm going to go ahead and finish this top and I'll show you what it looks like when it's all done. And here's my finished flower power tank top. I hope you all liked my video. Don't forget to hit subscribe, like this video, and stay up to date on all my newest patterns. And you can find me on Instagram at crochetwithlj.